All right, guys, we're down here in my basement. And on the other side of that wall is my cistern. It's underneath the deck outside. Water comes from the cistern through this pipe down along here over to a jet pump. I got a three quarter horsepower jet pump, runs off 110. And uh, now to keep the water, when you turn the faucet on, to keep the water, uh, the pump from running constantly to pump the water throughout the house, the jet pump pumps the water down through here and into this blue pressurized bladder tank. Now this bladder tank is kind of neat. It has a rubber diaphragm like a balloon inside. And there's three pounds of pressure, air pressure, up here at the top. The pump pumps the water into the balloon inside of here. That balloon stretches, fills the water up to about here. And then when it does that, this pressure becomes about oh, 90 about 50, 50 to 90 pounds. Well, when the pump's running, it pumps it up to 90 pounds. And then uh, when you use the water, the pressure up here in the top pushes the water out into this pipe right there, up through here. I've got several cutoff valves. And then it distributes throughout the, throughout the house so that the pump only runs to fill that tank up and then the pressure in the tank takes over. I think it holds nine, nine gallons, nine or ten gallons. Uh, but that's it. That is collecting water off the roof into a cistern and using a jet pump. Pump it into a pressurized tank and then distribute it out through your house where you want it. We have the Pretty much the same water pressure as city water. And uh, now when it doesn't rain enough, I have to buy water from my neighbor. And I'll show you how I do that. To buy water from my neighbor, I've got 300 feet of garden hose. And a stretch from my house across the street, up her driveway, and there's a pine tree right there, and uh, about 20 feet past that pine tree, she's got a water spigot so she can water her grapevines and things out here in her front yard. Well, take the garden hoses, hook them together, turn her water on, follow the hose on up the drive. And into the top of the cistern. One inch rain equals about 600 gallons. I think a thousand square feet of roof would uh, equal 660 gallons, I think, for one inch of rain. But I'm going to have it all hooked up looking nice this spring. And uh, when that water sits in rainwater, especially, use it in the garden. There's no chemicals in it. And uh, better for the plants better for us <coughs> excuse me and then when uh, I buy it from her of course it's chlorinated city water it goes in here after it sits in there for a couple of weeks the chlorine dissipates kind of like a you know swim pool you have to keep adding chlorine to it because it burns itself up through sunlight and just the you know sitting but that's it that's water collection off my roof